My name's Guy Mowbray, joined for commentary by Sue Smith. And it's time to begin another new season of the Premier League, full of the usual highs and lows. It's Arsenal, and they play Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, I can't wait for this one, so I'm sure the fans are going to be excited too. Expectation's going to be high, because this is a team capable of challenging. Starting with a positive result here today is going to be key. This is how Arsenal line up. Declan Rice plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield and they go with a single striker leading the line. This is how Wolverhampton Wanderers line up. They are lining up in a 4-3-3 system and with this it naturally creates triangles all over the pitch. So it means lots of options for players. It does allow them to get forward and support the attacks as well. Saka. Odegaard. And no scraps for the attackers to beat off. Hung on to the ball well. Ignore it. And that's crossed the line. It'll be a throw in. William Saliba. On to party. Saka. On to Odegaard. Nice possession. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. However the game goes, it will always be remembered by him because it marks his debut. What sort of contribution are we going to see? Well, he'll be expected to get forward when he can, help provide those overlapping runs and give his opposite number a headache. Good bit of business, though, and I'm looking forward to watching him today. A chance to cross here. And it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper. And the ball comes in. And they've got it away. Incredible defending. And that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. Partey. Odegaard. Now Saliba. Partey. Saka. This looks promising from Arsenal. White. Rice, crucial defending. Good spell, looking for that all-important next goal. Martinelli. Thomas Partey. Odegaard. Martin Odegaard. And he'll have a go here. was looking good but there it's ended oh, that wasn't far away was it they do well to create the chance they just couldn't quite finish it off there they found a way through still in there it's in at the second attempt the big question marks on the goalkeeping that had to be pushed away from danger Pablo Sarabia. Mario Lemina. Moving the ball around well here. Mateus Cunha. Sarabia. Oh, they didn't quite join the dots as they should there. Just offside.
Martin Odegaard. On to Bukayo Saka. Odegaard. Now Saka. There could be something building here for Arsenal. That's not a bad looking ball. Wasteful from Arsenal. Pablo Sarabia. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. He's beaten his marker here. And he's done really well to keep that out. He's gone out, throwing to come. Players waiting in the centre. Rice. Beautifully weighted ball. On he goes, terrific. And a cross into the area. Very well kept out, alert and ready. Good work from Arsenal to win back possession. Saka played to White the referee has on to Bukayo Saka minimum of one minute of added time. now party Rice now Saka and well read just as it was looking promising and with that the first half Ball is rolling, and the second half is underway. Ignore it. And that's a golden chance that's gone begging. Well, you've got to be composed and put that away. You're not going to get many chances easier than that to equalise. William Saliba. Played to Martinelli. Rice. On to Odegaard. Kai Havertz. Promising looking attack building here for Arsenal. And away from danger it goes. There it ends. Well, you can put all the speculation to bed now because Spurs have got the signing over the line. A good move? Well, the reported fee was around 45 million, which I think is a fair price in today's market. He's a top player that I'm sure will fit in quickly, and I bet the fans are so pleased to have him at their club. And nothing accidental about that challenge. Stop them at all costs. Well, he couldn't get free, and he couldn't find the target. Well, it's certainly not a free header. It's strong defending here, just enough to put him off at that vital moment. Well, EA TV is your home of the Premier League, and we've got more on the way as Arsenal face Aston Villa. That's one surely not to be missed. Yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to that one. Hopefully, we see plenty of goals. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you behind but this is looking promising well for all that could have led to something it won't now Erdogan played to Martinelli Arsenal moving the ball well with real confidence Well, we have more coverage from the Premier League coming up for you here on EA TV.
Wolves face Chelsea. Another one for your viewing diary. Havertz. It's there. And it's a goal that's a real settler for them. Two in front now. Well, if we watch this again, it's a tidy finish. And it's certainly been coming. The pressure's been building and they've got their rewards. now and that's been cleared away Ryan Ignori well it did look promising but threat averted Gabriel Partey On to Bukayo Saka. Ben White. Now Saka. And delivered into the middle. Well, comfortably off target in the end. That'll be a goal kick. credit the defender in there just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment Arsenal come away with the ball now to go a long way with this Surely they need to play a bit higher up than they are doing here. Crucial defending. Sarabia. It's a way. Wang Hee Chan. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Yeah. Across the line, it'll be a throw. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Gabriel.
Thomas Party and number four Ben White to be replaced by number 19 Zinchenko number 20 Georgina Leandro Trossard number 17 Alexander Zinchenko on to Rice perfectly anticipated really well won Matthias Cunha the referee spots the infringement. Free kick to Carmen, a real opportunity this. And it's been kept out, and pretty well too. It wasn't a bad effort. It's gone out. corner played into the box unable to find anyone with that delivered into the middle and behind it goes for a goal kick Approaching the last whistle here, and Arsenal have really been on it. This will get a great reaction from the fans. Yeah, they've been the better side and thoroughly deserve to win. The way they keep the ball is great to watch, and some of the chances they create, they're exceptional. Really good all-round performance. Timber. Good challenge, and a throw-in will follow. Yurian Timber. Here's Zinchenko. Jorginho. On to Odegaard. Saka. Maybe a bit of space now. Saka. And that puts a really impressive seal on what has been a fantastic performance. Well, here we can see it again. And he shows great ability to get past his man. And as soon as Saka goes through on goal, it's never in doubt. He makes great contact with the ball and leaves the keeper with no time to react. Oh, maybe a bit of space now. Saka. So 3-0 now, the lead ever more commanding as we start again. Bellegarde. Wang Hee Chan. Great defending, but I'm sure he thought he'd scored there. Great goalkeeping. And it's all over with the Arsenal fans able to celebrate the win and the three points. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. They were really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never in much doubt. There have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Yeah, he played well today. I'm sure he'll be happy with the win and his goal, but maybe a little disappointed he didn't score more. He had loads of chances.